this is part two video in the category of mother in law in the first part we have discussed that the 10th house in your chart represents your mother in law so where is the 10th house lord in your respective chart in the d1 chart we have seen the nature of your mother in law in this video part two we will discuss about whether your mother in law will be of cheap behavior or will be a brutal nature or will be a caring or favorable what are the planets what are the things related to 10th house impact these effects so the first thing whatever the lagni you have lagni chart please note whatever the ascendant you have just note down your 10th house lord who is your 10th house lord you have noted down your 10th house lord now you have to check where the dashmesh in present in your chart if the dashmes is present on houses what are the on houses if you do not know check out the playlist section we have mentioned that what are the signs in which the each planet represents suppose one number one and eight number represents mars and two and seven number represent venus three and six number represents your gemini 10 and 11 number represents saturn nine and twelve number represents jupiter and this uh, two and seven number represents Venus in the Rahu and Ketu are the shadow planets and they behave as per the sign they are placed. So four number represents moon, five number represents sun. So these are the sign if the planet in the 10th house is present on house or if the planet is exalted in that case, then the mother in law will be the powerful. She will be ruling nature she like to do that the the in-laws relationship should be according to her commanding nature although she will be friendly behavior and will behave as a real mother for you but she will have some decorum she will have some policies that you should follow after marriage either the girl or either the boy this is applicable both in the case now move to the second case if moon is placed in the 10th house if your chart moon is placed in your 10th house what does it represent it represents as moon represents caring loving nature then definitely both loving nature and the caring nature will be her attributes if moon is well it is not making an any association with rahu and ketu then you will support from her and not only with the uh, mentally but professionally and prosperity point of view but if the moon is malified by the rahu and ketu by expects anyway 6 8 and 12th lot in that case there will be a cheating nature and there will be betrayal from your mother-in-law now the next point is that you just note down every point so that everything should be clear if these questions are arising in the first part so we will try in the future videos to short out the things which we left so please have patience in every video so if you need any consultation download jyotishkar weather app check out jyotishkar.in or check out the description box for all the possibilities to contact now if ketu is present in the 10th house if ketu is present in the 10th house in that case mother-in-law sometime fickle mind fickling nature she will be commanding nature and she will try to detachment to you or if you say that stubborn nature stubborn behavior then it would be right to say that she will behave sometimes but these things will happen when the dasha anta dasha of ketu and the ketu movement comes out from your 10th house from the lagna chart in that case you need to take care now if sun is present in the 10th house whatever the lagna you have whatever the sign here but sun is placed so sun will behave as the leadership qualities as you know that so your mother-in-law will behave as a leader of the family head of the family not only with this if mercury is present in your 10th house whatever the sign is present but mercury is present here then mercury represent communication so you will see that she will be a like chugal core she will be like talkative she will be like a chatterbox type and sometimes very impulsive however she will be versatile but chatterbox which will uh, not understand your positivity and negativity and discuss with everyone these are the things now next before moving ahead if you need free analysis we have this so you can uh, check out our instagram page 
our Facebook page and our Twitter page and share your chart Vimshotri Dasha and one question and give us 60 days we will try to reply as soon as possible but have patience no one is uh, we cannot give anybody on the fast track priority if you need priority ways then we have the website for personal consultation so for free analysis have patience all will be replied now if Mars is placed here if Mars is placed here in your 10th house the mother will be a uh, very uh, tough and the stout nature will have and somewhere uh, passive ag aggressiveness will be there and very strict in discipline point of view so sometime you feel that your mother-in-law very friendly sometime you feel that she will uh, will be rude nature but these things will rise when the dasha of antar dasha of mars and uh, revolve around your chart now if jupiter is present in your chart what will happen then then jupiter is a spirituality is a, a guru so mother ill will be a shadow nature she will always be there to help you by her shadow so if jupiter is favorable here is good place not debilitated not weak not combusted in that case you will be a caring mother else opposite now if venus is present in your if venus is present in your 10th house what does it mean it means that your mother-in-law will be open-minded she loves to dressing well she loves to traveling she loves to eat in restaurant so entertainment she will be every point of view will be catering towards you now if saturn is present inside your uh, 10th house or any association with the saturn by its expects then you will feel that sometimes she will be narrow-minded isolated not open to share everything sometimes she hidden emotions sometimes she did not reflect her internally feelings towards you so if saturn is favorable saturn is strong saturn is supportive in your chart then she will be very helpful and ready to devote everything she will be a caring nature donated nature now what about the rahu and ketu rahu i have told that rahu change and is a shadow planet behave as per the sign present in your seventh house so rahu will make your mother-in-law lazy she see often avoid to do the household activities after your marriage always opposing uh, the people and the friends gathering at your home for any kind of stuff but if ketu is there in that case totally opposed to that of rahu because both are 180 degree if here is a laziness then here will be active she will be interested in the friend or the people coming to you to meet with your family so these all are the stuffs which can you conclude from the rahu the placement of different planets in your chart in the similar way you can conclude your father-in-law your sister-in-law whatever the in-laws calculation you want to do just analyze your chart check which house represents in your chart then check from your spouse chart you will get the answer so that's all for the day